assemble this somewhere out here this will go under the wheel lifting the wheel up as this track drives in the wheel will roll over this striking another one up here which will come down here lifting this one up behind the wheel as a lock and the lazy susan will be here spinning like this and all we're hoping to sort of put in this rear area i can zoom out in a second in this rear area, we're looking to have some sort of motor here and another motor, dual motor, a drive here, drive here. Not kind of sure what kind of, whether we can use a chain or a drive shaft. I would prefer a drive shaft. I do like direct drive things. Not really a big fan of chains and things like that, but we're going to see. So the power pack's going to be over here, battery area, remote, the controller in here. And then on top of this deck here, there'll be this bearing race with another platform on top with all of these bits which will swivel on here holding the wheel. So the wheel will roll on here. This machine will be able to twist and the Lazy Susan will hold the landing gear here. Hopefully, so if this turns, because it will have a lot of power, it doesn't sort of over uh, turn the landing gear, the front landing gear. So yeah, we'll pick this up tomorrow and we'll see where we go from there. But at the moment, we're just tacking this together before we do welding and then we're gonna uh, put bushes to separate the aluminium from the steel because we know that it does act like a bit of a battery when you mix aluminium and steel so we're gonna to have to separate the plating and all the other aluminium bits from the steel so we don't get a bit of a, a positive charge causing corrosion so yeah we'll see you in a minute With the wind, this will blow.
we can see this does work really well I know we don't have much charge in the battery but it's, it is really good to see and the thing is this green stuff has grip tape on it and the, you can see the tracks bend in there which is just goes to show how much torque there is considering it's carrying the whole weight of the plane as well and yet it's able to crab and adjust its position So guys, the tug has pushed, Dougie's pushed himself in now to release, so to release, I'm going to release that, and I'm going to, and it comes out just like that, Dougie's free. Once again, Dougie, did you enjoy what you did? Did you enjoy it? You sure? Nice one. And there you go. He's managed to pull the Sting S4 out three times. And uh, there goes Doug.